Hello, this is Bijoy. Today, uh, I brought uh, to you this uh, problem from December 2016, booklet code uh, A, and uh, it is uh, based on uh, the topic uh, digital electronics from uh, multiplexer demultiplexer concepts. Now, uh, I would like to explain this question before going to the solution. C. Uh, this question uh, asks. Um, this question says, uh, which of the following circuits uh, implement the Boolean function f a b c equal to sigma one two four six? And uh, as you can see, we have uh, four options. These uh, four options uh, we need to uh, check one by one and then see which on one of them produces the required function f a b c equal to sigma one two four six. So uh, let's uh, start. We'll start uh, with the first uh, option and check whether it satisfies the function or not. So uh, let's draw the let's draw the option. As you can see, uh, this uh, box this box uh, will function as a function as a multiplexer. It is written in the question that it is a multiplexer. Box has the full form multiplexer. Now this multiplexer is a uh, 4 by uh, 1 multiplexer that means uh, it will have uh, 4 inputs and uh, 1 output as you can see the output is F now the input first input has one not get a test to it this not get is getting the input from the variable C and this C is also going to the other input terminals that means uh, yeah yeah before going to uh, more about it let's finish this diagram here a and b are the select lines of the multiplexer as you can uh, as you already know about multiplexer uh, if you don't know i will explain it to you a multiplexer uh, has uh, uh, more than one input and only one output what it does it uh, accepts the uh, data coming from one of the inputs and uh, passes it to the output which line of the inputs will get uh, to the output depends on the select lines this a and b that means if you uh, provide a and b some values like uh, 0 0 that will indicate that the first line this line will uh, pass uh, to the output that means whatever you pass from this first line like 0 or 1 that will be passed to the output f and if you pass uh, 0 1 from the variables a and b then uh, the second line whatever data you uh, pass from the second line will be reaching this f similarly if you pass one zero it will uh, cause this third line to reach this uh, output similarly when you pass one 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 this uh, uh, the value of this four line will pass uh, reach to this f output so this is the concept now uh, we uh, right now we have uh, the circuit has been modified and put some uh, not gate one not gate in this uh, circuit and uh, we are being asked to in use three variables a b c and then uh, generate the boolean function uh, which is given in the question so uh, we will check the first option uh, first option with the function uh, let's uh, put the number uh, as you can see uh, you know in the question we are we have been given sigma one two four six this is the question this is the function that uh, needs to be satisfied uh, let's put the first combination one the one in binary form is written as zero zero one now you have to put this value into this a b and c value very uh, terminals and then check whether it causes uh, an output of one or not if uh, this zero uh, zero one causes an output of one then we can say that this function 1 is satisfied okay so let's check so the value of a we need to put is 0 and 0 a and b are 0 and 0 and the c will be 1 in this case uh, the 0 0 when you pass from a and b it should cause the first line to uh, get connected to the output in that case uh, when you pass c equal to uh, this value is 1 it will uh, go 1 from here and will become 0 here and after going through this it will remain zero as you know that this uh, whatever you pass from here will reach this uh, terminal so the output we are getting is zero that means this uh, first uh, 
zero zero one number is not being uh, passed to the output so we'll uh, uh, cancel this uh, option obviously it is not satisfying the uh, function so now let's uh, uh, now let's uh, check to see whether the second option the second option works or not the second option let us draw the diagram let me show you the diagram the second option contains uh, this is also a 4 by 1 uh, multiplexer mux the short form it also gives obviously it will give one output and there will be there will be uh, four inputs as you may see this uh, input from C goes to the second terminal also using a NOT gate and the same uh, data goes to the other inputs also okay let me show you this option you can see in the option uh, 2 here uh, the same drawing we have drawn in the board and uh, let's uh, see what uh, this option this option satisfies the function or not so the function that we have is uh, sigma one two four six first of all we'll uh, verify that one passes through this function or not uh, for that let's uh, put let's use another board i mean whatever <laughs> okay let's uh, see whether this satisfies the function or not so we'll first uh, put a value of abc 001 uh, the first thing that uh, needed to be passed is 001 that is the value of the binary value of 1 so let's put these into these input terminals the select lines a and b so in this case the select lines has the value 0 and 0 and the c has the value 1 so uh, when you pass uh, 0 0 from the select lines of a multiplexer the first line directly gets connected to the output and this first line obviously in this case contains 1 and it directly passes to the output becomes 1 so we can see that this combination is passing through the multiplexer and we are getting this uh, circuit to work in this case now the second option we need to check is that, that you, uh, you already seen in the question that the function is 1 2 4 6 so the second value we need to check is uh, the value of 2 that is uh, 0 1 0 the 0 and 0 we need to check so in this case 0 and 1 will are the values for a and b and 0 is the value for c and let's check it so when a is 0 uh, a is 0 and b is 1 and uh, c is 0 then uh, a and b will make the second line to uh, connect to the output and uh, the second line comes from the line C through a NOT gate. So this uh, 0 work after coming from this NOT gate will become 1 and it will pass directly to F. Hence in this case also we are getting 1. So this combination also works. Now the third combination that we need to check is the value for 4 given in the option. Uh, so let's write the binary code for uh, 4 that is 1 0 0 this uh, 100 this 100 will cause uh, the value of a and b to become 1 and 0 and the c will become 0 in that case in that case where a and b are 10 the select line select line will cause the third input in the multiplexer to directly get connected to the output and this third line also comes from the variable c where we have uh, put 0 as you can see so this 0 after going through this NOT gate will become 1 and pass through this third line here and that will cause the result to be 1 hence this combination also satisfied it now the fourth uh, value in the function is 6 and 6 has the binary code 110 we need to check this also so uh, in this case a and b are 1 1 and uh, c is 0 in this case a and b uh, where one in one and one will cause this fourth line to directly connect to this uh, variable f output and uh, c is zero so the zero will pass through the not gate and become one and go directly through this fourth line 
so the output will be 1 even if we pass c0 the 0 becomes 1 after passing through the NOT gate and will pass directly to the result so in this case also the function is satisfying the uh, problem so uh, this option 2 is satisfying all the values specified in the function and so we can uh, we are we find the answer and uh, therefore we come to the conclusion that uh, option 2 is our answer thank you so the answer is answer is to